I'm Isha. And I'm Jason. And we're bringing you the very latest in ESPN Crick Info Daily, starting with some news from Indian cricket. Ajinka Rahani has been named captain of the India side that will take on Afghanistan in their inaugural test. That's right, and Virat Kohli, Jaspreet Bumrah, Rohit Sharma and Bhuvaneshwar Kumar have not been named to the side. Kohli has chosen to prepare for the England tour with a county stint with Surrey. Three openers including Murli Vijay, K.L. Rahul and Shekhar Dhawan feature in the squad. Yes, and also included are spinners Ravi Ashwin, Ravindra Jadeja and Kuldeep Yadav. This is Afghanistan's test debut which will be played in Bengaluru between the 14th of June to the 18th. Now some news about the India squad for the England and Ireland series. The BCCI has announced the India squad for the upcoming limited over series against England and the Irish. This includes a three-match ODI and three-match T20 international series against England. And also a two-match T20 international series against Ireland. Batsmen K.O. Rahul and Ambati Raidu have been selected for the ODI squad against England. However, they haven't found a place in the T20 squad. Siddharth Kaul has made his way into both limited overs international squads. New additions to the T20 squad also include Washington Sundar and Umesh Yadav. Moving on to some India A news, Prithvi Shaw and Shubman Gill have been named to the India A squad. Shreyas Ayer will lead the 50 over squad in a tri-series that also involves the England Lions and the West Indies A size. He certainly will and he said that earlier experience of leading the India A side would help going into this series. Captaincy gets the best out of me, you know, whenever I've played I've uh, learned that, you know, how to, how to be responsible in batting. Uh, previously I used to just throw away my wicket, now I gradually started, you know, rotating and taking the match till the end so it has made me more aware of the conditions and you know getting acclimatized to the atmosphere around and taking the responsibility and finishing the game till the end. On the other hand Karun Nair will captain the India a four-day squad. Mayank Agarwal and Vijay Shankar will also feature in both squads. Now let's move on to the IPL and a 58 ball 82 from Joss Butler led Rajasthan to a 15 run win over Punjab. This was Butler's highest ever T20 score. And it's also Butler's third successive 50 plus score in this year's IPL. Pretty impressive stats there. Batting first, Rajasthan put on 158 runs. For Punjab, Andrew Tai was the pick of the bowlers with four wickets. In response, Punjab were led by K.L. Rahul's unbeaten 95 from 70 deliveries, but it sadly wasn't enough. So let's now look ahead to Wednesday's game in the IPL and Kolkata will host Mumbai at Eden Gardens. Yes, they will. And Mumbai are currently on a seven-match winning streak against Kolkata. And this includes the first time these two faced each other earlier in the season when Mumbai won by 13 runs. Kolkata bowler Sunil Narayan has got Mumbai batsman Evan Lewis's wicket four times in seven innings across T20s. And at the Eden Gardens, Rohit Sharma has a stellar record. He certainly does. In 11 innings, he scored 418 runs at an average of 52.3 across all seasons of the IPL.